learning of ICT has become more imperative as a result of its daily usage in all aspects of our lives. However, the digital divide still persists and a lot of Africans still do not have access to ICT. According to the Internet World Stars for 2011, Africa, with an estimated population of 1 billion, 37 million, 524,058 people, representing about 15% of the world's total population, has about 118 million, 848,060 people using the internet. This figure represents about 5.6% users of the internet against 94.4% for the rest of the world and at a penetration rate of 11.5% compared to 33.8% for the rest of the world. Ghana, a developing country on the West African coast with an estimated population of about 24,791,000 and 73 people has only 1,297,000 people representing barely 1.1% of the total number of internet users in Africa. Most children in Ghana, especially in basic schools and rural villages, have not either seen or touched a computer before. Most often, ICT lessons have to be taught in the after, with no practical lessons given. This usually makes the teaching and learning of ICT difficult on the part of teachers and pupils. It is against this backdrop that Coalition for the Development of Ghanaians, CODGA, a non-governmental organization in Ghana, is initiating an ICT program that will revolutionize the learning and teaching of ICT in the country. The pilot phase of the project was started in the Esikuma Odobin Brapa district to determine the feasibility of the project. The results of the pilot program were very remarkable. How are you doing? Just as I came the last time. You can sit down, please. Today we'll be starting with our final test. As we do, we've been teaching you a whole lot about ICT and how to use computers for yourself. On the board, we have certain objects, we are going to name them and then spell each part that you name. It will start from A through to P. So I believe you are ready to answer the questions. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. A, who can name the place labeled A? Yes, Mustafa. Please start table for me. Sir! Sir! Okay, Mustafa rightly spelled table. B, who knows the place labeled B? Yes! Yamwa. Left button. Left button. Spell left button. Yamwa. Left button. Left button. B U T T O N. Left button. Shine. Shine. I. Left button. So that is how L E F T. B U T T O N. Left button. Okay. D. Who can name the place level B? Godina. Scroll view. Correctly said. Spell B. Scroll view.
spell? Mouse. Mouse. Spell me mouse. Mouse. M O U S E. Mouse. Say. Say. Ah. Mouse. Write this down. M O U S E. Mouse. We are done with the first session. We are going to the second object. There is a place labeled D. Who can name the place labeled D? Yes, Mustafa. Icons. Spell me icons. I C O N S. Icons. Icons. Say I. Yes, icons. I C O N S. Icons. As rightly said, icons. Now, the part labeled X. X. Who can name the place labeled X? Mrs. Georgina. Dexter, rightly spelled. Spell me Dexter. Dexter. D G S K T O Dexter. Rightly spelled. Say. Say. Dexter. D E S K T O P. Dexter. You understood what he taught you, eh? Yes. Have you understood it? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. So I should test you. Yes, sir. Can I test you? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Give me one of the parts of your computer. Uh -huh. Esther. Keyboard. Come for him. Come for him. Uh -huh. What's the name given to this part? This part of the mouse. If you say you understand, what's the name given to this part of the mouse? This part. Uh -huh. Uh, David. <laughs> what? Come for him. Come for him. After giving the kids theoretical lessons in ICT, they were made to use the computers by engaging them in practical lessons. One of the pupils took the lead role in teaching colleagues some lessons they had learned during their theoretical session in class. Arrow keys. Caps lock. Caps lock. Caps lock. Okay. Arrow keys. We have been saying arrow keys. Now, minute. But I'm Okay. Arrow keys. No, no. Caps lock. Go ahead. Space bar. Home keys. Home keys. Quetty row. Bottom row. Bottom row. Obiyanyi ni sabi na miyami hundi e. Kweti row way. Kweti row way. Kweti row way. Mustafa, fansa chemi kweti row. Yes, that is kweti row. Home keys. Bottom row. Okay. Continue with your class. Shine for yourself. Shine. Shine. Sometimes, it was difficult teaching lessons that were more practical oriented as a result of the unavailability of electricity or frequent power outages. For instance, at the Sigma Method School, one of the teachers, Mr. AJ, had to teach formatting a document on the board, which is supposed to be practically oriented. Mostly for official documents, we use font size 12. You see it's dropped, then there's an arrow down here, which means that you can have a drop down maybe 40, 16, 20, 26. So based on the font size you want, if you highlight man, and come that way, and you select font size 20, it will change to man, a very big man. The font size is used in changing the way you want the font to appear. Whether you want a smaller font or a bigger font. Mostly, you are on the top of the two bars. You will see the font. Then you can change it to appear bigger or smaller for you. The next 
thing you can also use in formatting. You call it the font type. The font type. Font type. You have Times New Roman. Italics. Dot, 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 dot. So based on whatever font that you want your document to look like, whether you need it in an italic form or official way, Times New Roman, as we said, you just select it. You highlight mine, as I said. You highlight it. If you want it in an italic form, when you select italics, you can change. My the slanted form. That is italics. Both you see on the toolbar B, then you have underline U there, then the I there. So if you want to underline a document, you highlight it. My Name is Kwame. And I want to underline it. I guess highlight. My name is Kwame. Then go to you. Underline. Just press it to underline it. Bring the cursor to an empty space. But where you are typing, just click on it. You are done. If you want to bold in something, make it appear in very big or clear form. You can also go to bold, but we don't underline a document and bold in it. They represent the, whole, the same thing. So if you underline, don't bold in it. If you bold in it, don't underline it. That is it. Some of the students who participated in the program were of the view that more access to computers would help them improve their ICT skills. Then came the time when questions were posed to find out if they had computers in their homes. Their answers were all in the negative. My name is Ousu David. Ousu David. Do you have a computer? No, I don't have. And do you think when you get a computer you can learn ICT better? Yes, right. You think you can do it? Yes. Sir. Okay. <laughs> Madam, have, do you have a computer? No, I don't. You don't have a computer, eh? Yes. Okay. You and your friend, do you have access to computer? You have you don't have access to your computer. Some of the participating schools express their joy for such a program by showing their appreciation to the organizers and teachers. What do you say to Mr. William A.D.? Thank you for the leadership for the development of Ghana. Okay, you are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. After some few lessons, most of the children demonstrated improved knowledge in ICT. As a result, the organizers were pleased and wanted to find out where their inspiration for learning ICT came from and to explore the possibility of them having a personal computer in their homes. Welcome on board to see some of the homes of these kids who have despite all odds to enhance their ICT skills. So just genuine us as we make a trance to their houses. Yeah, I'm not Ah, okay. And then you're Bye bye. 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 Bye.
Yendo Mufia. Ta? Eh. The journey still continues with these three kicks who have defied all us to improve the ICT skills. What have I do? Hey, ciao. Okay, so we drop. Mustafa. So this is where Mustafa Kasim and a judge Edufo stays. So certainly this is where they live. They have access to electricity though but being supported on a bamboo stick and I really doubt them having personal computer left alone a laptop in this building Muni any sir your friend is saying Joe what is saying hey yeah okay school ah okay now, mom, I'm away. Okay, hey, a horse here, hey, pa. Oh, and to acquire him for a quarter, him. A horny a day, a year foom. Okay, dog. Now, papa's way. On the Kobe. So, these kids close from school, and what they tell me is parents have gone to farm. So, locally speaking, they call it. A home, meaning farm. So they come, and to the absence of their parents, this is what they do. In Timobe, they Mustafa. Ah, Muki is here. In Timobe, they are Mayi Muki. Eh, wahi na Muji. Muki wahi. Sa, in Timo brand sa na Mayi. Inti monya mo kwa mbela on fasu yi ki na me hwe So that is how these kids manage to pick their kids when their parents have gone to farm So this is where they live This is where these kids live But believe you me if these kids could get access to computers and get access to the needed educational materials and resources they would definitely be trailblazers. So we followed the kids and captured how they undress. It's their private home and definitely we can't do anything about it. The documentary about Mustafa. Certainly there are no personal computers in this room. There are no personal computers in this room. I also your friend was saying you are doing only any Mustafa. Uh also any people you have anything. Joe. Okay. Um mommy echo a foam. Oh okay. A do for uh not the bed damas. Say my dear chill with you. And you know that you that you be an we have a coalition for the development of Ghanaian. We have a computer. So we have a computer. 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 Mumbra. The only I'm, the only thing I'm trying to tell them is is to continue coming for the high city class being organized by Coalition for the Development of Ghanaians. Certainly, we want to help to improve 
the socioeconomic development of our country. These are the kids who need the computers that have been shared among our MPs. We share one child per laptop, one household per computer. Certainly, these children haven't gotten a feel of it. All we are asking is we need to use computers for these kids to enhance their ICT skills. Thank you very much. And this has been the journey with Mustafa and his crew to their houses to find out where their inspiration for ICT comes from. And definitely, you've seen it for yourself. You have no access to laptop computer or even a personal computer. But you've defied all us to make it in life. Thank you and may God bless everyone. Help these kids get use competence for themselves. The founder of Kodga and the initiator of this project shared some of the challenges they had to confront during the pilot phase of the project. Most of the challenges that we had to face, one had to do with an efficient form of electricity because some of the villages were not connected to the national grid. So it affected our practical lessons that we had to do with the participants. We also had the challenge of transportation because as, as a young organization you have to you don't have enough funds so we had to use public transport. So and then that made it very also costly. Because transporting one IC, they needed ICT material from one village to the other or from one school to the other. Also proved to be very expensive. Then there were also not much more ICT labs in the schools. So basically, the major challenge now is to fund it. That's why we are appealing to all civil society groups, non-governmental organizations, government, businessmen, to come to our aid to support the ICT on this program that we're coming up with. So we could also use ICT to empower the youth and in as much also help in eradicating poverty. And we believe we will also be working between our quota in achieving the Millennium Development Goals. Our offices are in Ghana, West Africa. If you visit our website, you go to the contact session. We have international representative. Her name is Melissa Hector. She's in the United States, in Boston, Massachusetts. Contact her and you donate any ICT materials. She will forward it to us. To support Codgas programs, please visit us on www.codgaghana.org or you can write to us P. Obos GP 2350 Ghana West Africa or contact us on our mobile numbers 020-84-28465-0571-104010 Kodga Development by the people with the people and for the people.